Welcome back to another episode of Fish in Florida. So I actually filmed this video a couple days ago and I filmed in the intro but I forgot to hit that little red record button and that's the only problem about this camera. Like the autofocus is super great but the screen on the back doesn't flip out so I can't see what I'm recording. But anyways other than that at the time of this video a cold front was rolling through Florida and the bite was really tough. So in this video, I decided to go more finesse. So I brought my spinning setup. It's the PC Fun Carbon X spinning reel. And then I got a new rod for that. It's a Daiwa, I think it's a Daiwa Triforce rod, but it's a pretty cheap rod. It's only like $34. And yeah, that setup is really light. I love it so far. But anyways, I brought my spinning setup. I used a weightless Senko, and I actually ended up having a great day. I caught a ton of fish. It was just an all around great day. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and let's get right into it. Alright guys, so here's my spinning setup. Again, as I said, it's the PC Fun Carbon X, and this is a new rod. It's the Daiwa Triforce. It's a pretty cheap rod. It's only like $34, I think. But yeah, I'm going to test this out. It's super light, so I like that, but we'll see how durable it is. The bait I'm starting out with is just a weightless Senko. I'm going to fish this pretty slow, and hopefully we can hook up on a few bass. We'll see what happens. Oh, that's a fish. Yeah. Got him. That might be a good one, actually. He's fighting hard. He is running. Alright, there we go. First bass of the day. This guy fought insanely hard. I thought it was big. He ran like crazy. Alright guys, first bass of the day on the weightless Senko. As soon as my Senko hit the water, this guy was on it. It was sick, and he fell like crazy too. Especially on my new rod, that Daiwa Triforce, it fell huge. Well, let's get a release. Oh my gosh. Alright, he's gone. Here's a fish. Oh, dang, these fish run like crazy. All right, second bass of the day. Another healthy fish, another little guy. That was sick, these fish fight really hard. It's a pretty one. All right guys, second bass of the day. These fish are fighting really hard. This guy took off. He almost got me wrapped up around that goose. Almost lost this guy. Well, let's get another release. And he's off. That was cool. All right, another bass. Oh my gosh. All right guys, best bass of the day so far. Still not that big, but he crushed my Senko. Finesse is definitely working out. I'm getting way more bites than I have been. Let's get a release. See you bud. And he's off.
Because there's a giant. Oh. That was cool. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, there's another one right behind him. Alright, that's the best bass of the day. That was sick. Solid one and a half pounder. Guys. Alright, solid one and a half pounder. Watch this. There's so many bass here. They're schooling up like right in front of me. Watch this. This is going to be insane. Alright, get ready for this. Okay. Let's cast back out. Oh. Got him. That was cool. That was cool. Alright, another bass. Another bass. Another good one. Another decent one. Alright, that's two. Watch this. Keep watching, guys. This is gonna get even better. Alright, he's off the hook. I've got two. Let's fix my Senko real quick. Guys, there's literally a school of like 20 bass right here. Watch this. Got him, got him, got him, got him, that was sick. All right, that's three. Let's see if I can get one more. Then I better release these guys. All right, that's three. There's so many bass right here, guys. It's insane. Got one. There we go. There we go. All right, there's our fourth. There's our fourth. Guys, this is insane. All right, let me release these guys. All right, here's the two little guys. Let me release these guys real quick. All right, see you, bud. And see ya. Alright, there's the two little ones. And here's the two big ones. This one's like a pound and a half. This one's like a pound. Alright, see ya, bud. He's off. Alright, let me get the last release on my camera in that 120 FPS. I don't know if I mentioned this earlier in my last video, but my new camera shoots in 120 frames per second so I can get that super slow motion. It's pretty sick, but let me show you guys that right now. That was insane. There's literally a school of like 20 bass just at my feet. Got four of them. I'm gonna, the rest were pretty small, but I'll see if there's another big one in that school. Let's get a release on this guy. Got him. Oh my god, guys. I've caught five fish out of the school in the exact same spot. That is so sick. Five casts and five fish. Guys, what's insane is that there's still catchable fish in the school. Like, the school is still, like, right here. Let's see if I can make it seven for seven. Got him. No way. No way. Seven for seven. That's insane. What the heck? There's no way. Oh, and he's gone. All right, let's see if we can make it eight for eight. This is insane, guys. Oh, there's a fish. There we go. Eight for eight. That's insane. Oh my god. That's insane. There's no way. Guys, let's see if we can go all the way with that 10 for 10. That's another chunky fish. See ya. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, he's gone. Well guys, the school kind of moved on. Dang, I thought I'd get, I thought I was going to get 10 fish and 10 casts, but these three ducks just swam right over the school, and I think that spooked them. But anyways, let's keep moving and hopefully get some more fish. This day actually turned out really well. I did not expect it to go this well. Oh. Wow. That's a stud. Jeez, this could almost go in my tank. Well, tiny Senko, tiny bass, I guess. I'm using this little like, what is this? Probably like a six inch Senko. 
and just got this tiny bass. All right guys, straight stud on the Senko. I think it's like a six inch Senko, but I switched, I downsized to a smaller Senko just cause there are so many of these little guys all around. And yeah, he bit. See you bud. I'm going to start moving a little faster. I want to cover this pond pretty quick and then move to a different spot and hopefully get on some bigger fish. Thought the bite would be really tough today, but it's actually not that tough. These fish seem really aggressive. So I'm just gonna cover this little pond and move to a bigger, maybe canal. And also I'm gonna switch to a bigger Senko. All right guys, made it to a new spot. I'm now gonna target some bigger fish and let's see what we can do. Oh, got one already. All right, first cast. Just a little guy, but hopefully there'll be some bigger ones here. It's a chunky fish. Look how fat this little guy is. See you. Oh, shoot, I thought he had it. Got him. All right, there we go. I was reeling my Senko in and this guy crushed it. I dropped my Senko back down and he smoked it again. That was sick. See you, bud. Here's a fish. Sick. Way across the lake. There we go. Look at the colors on this guy. Alright guys, so I casted way across this canal just to see what was on the other side. And I ended up spooking this guy. Twitched my Senko once. He came back for it and crushed it. That was sick. Let's get a release. See you. Oh, that was cool. There's a fish. All right, there we go. Another bass, guys. I only have like five minutes left before I have to head in. So this might be the last bass of the day, but we'll see what happens. Another little guy, but at least I'm getting fish today. See you. Oh, got him. That was sick. Guys, there's so many bass up shallow, just along this wall of weeds. It's crazy. See ya. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. I caught a ton of fish on that weightless Senko. Had an insane day. It's so fun catching fish on spinning gear. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time on the next episode of Fishing Florida.